Hey my pumpkins and welcome back to another one of my Halloween tutorials. This one is all about holes and nasty bugs. So let's get into it. Uh, starting off with some scar wax. Yes, you need a good amount of scar wax and you want to make sure that your hands have Vaseline on them so you can work with the scar wax. And you want to start to roll that out into a ball and then make it into a flat shape that's going to fit the middle of, in my case, my forehead. That's where I'm going to put it. You can put it wherever you want, but I chose my forehead and I'm also going to do the same exact thing on my cheek. So with a little more Vaseline, I'm just going to start to blend out the edges and to blend that even more, I'm going to take the spatula that I used in the beginning just to really push those edges into my forehead to make it as seamless as possible. Okay, to make the holes, I'm using the end of a brush. You could use whatever you have to make your holes, but an end of a brush just works for me. Um, so I just dip the end of the brush into my Vaseline. You wanna make sure you have a good amount of Vaseline on the brush or your wax will stick to the brush when you're trying to pull it out. So you wanna enter the hole like so and really push it in there to get to your forehead. Twirl it around to release the brush and then take it out. Um, yeah, and you just want to go all around the whole entire scar wax like this and you could use um, different size brushes so you could get different size holes. So I do end up using a bigger brush to do two bigger holes on my forehead and when I'm doing my cheek portion I do the same thing as well. I use a bigger brush in two holes as well and I'm going to use the bigger holes to put my bugs in. So yeah. Um, now that you got it how you like like this, uh, you wanna take a piece of tissue and just press down on the scar wax, not too hard where you lose the holes, but enough to take off some of that Vaseline and to really make sure that the scar wax is sticking to your forehead. Now you wanna take some liquid latex and just go around the edges of your um, scar wax just to make sure that it's not going to come off throughout the night. You know, if you scrunch up your forehead or you move your cheeks, if you put it on your cheek, it's not gonna just fall off. So yeah, I'm just gonna go all around and then I'm going to blow dry this and then I'm gonna do it once again. Now once all of that is dry, I'm just going to go ahead and powder with some translucent powder. This is just to take all of that shine away. And then I'm going to move on to taking my foundation color and just going right over it and start to blend that out. Taking a red cream color, I'm just gonna go into those holes and just start to fill all of them in and make sure whatever you do to the forehead, you have to do to the one on the cheek as well or wherever you place them. When I finally got all of those red into those holes, I'm gonna move on to a black cream paint and just focus mainly on the center of the holes just to make the holes up here as if they are even deeper than they actually are. All that's done, I'm going to take a makeup wedge and I'm just going to rip off some pieces of it. And then I'm going to take a red and blue um, cream paint and I'm just going to stipple around the wound like so. Just to make it appear like the skin is very irritated. And I'm going to do the same exact thing to my cheek as well. Once that is all on there, if you feel like it's too much, you could always go back over it with your foundation to blend it out just a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit of white cream paint and put it on just certain areas, the high points of the holes, and blend it out with my finger. And then I'm going to go over the top of that with a little bit of foundation um, as well, just to make sure it's not too much. Now for the bugs. I chose worms. You could choose whatever you want. I chose worms and I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. They have a pack of them for 99 cents. So I'm just going to cut up pieces of that worm and then I decided I wanted to do it like a loop like it was going into one hole and out the other. Um, 
so yeah I just put a little bit of liquid latex on the end of the worm and just press it into those holes and held it for a little bit and just to make sure that it stuck and as you could see I put the head portion of the worm sticking out of my forehead now with a little bit of scab blood I'm just gonna go into each of the holes with um, a q-tip and I'm also going to put some of that blood on the worm as well because you know it's coming out of one hole and going into the other one and then I'm going to do the same exact thing to my the top and put some blood on the worm sticking out as well I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this was a fun one to do um, if you guys liked it please thumb, thumbs up this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not thank you for watching bye